In this tutorial, we're going to look at some of the pose tools available within Endorphin. We're going to use these tools to pose a character such that he's sitting in a chair. So let's begin by opening a pre-prepared scene. So from the file menu, select Open Scene. Navigate to Tutorial 3, Posing the Character, and this is inside your installation directory. And then we want to open Tutorial 3, Posing the Character, Begin. So select that and open it up. And in this scene you can see we've got the standard Endorphin simulation character and a chair. This chair has been imported as an OBJ file which is then represented in the viewport as a graphic and some collision objects have been placed in appropriate places to give the character something to sit on. Now just ensure that the time slider is at frame zero. Then move up to the main toolbar and select the pose move tool. This puts us into pose edit mode and you can see that the viewport now has a red border to indicate that we are in pose edit mode. So before we actually sit this character into the chair, let's just play around with some of the tools we've got available to us to pose him. So to begin with, select his upper right leg and you'll see immediately that that turns red. And that tells us that this is the body part that we're going to be manipulating directly. But the rest of the body here has also been coloured, and that's been coloured orange. And this tells us that though we're only manipulating directly this upper right leg, the rest of the body will be affected by this action. So for example, if I move this upper right leg out, you can see that the rest of the body follows it. Remember at any point that you can use the undo and redo buttons on the main toolbar undo is control Z and redo is control Y in terms of hotkeys and you also have in the character menu the option to reset the pose and that will take you back to your original pose. Posing a character in Endorphin is a little different to the methods you may be used to. When you're using the pose tools in pose edit mode the character is actually in full simulation so that all inertial and collision effects are active. So for example I can select the bottom of this character's leg it out and up a little possibly and then just drop it and you can see that it will collide with the ground plane. As well as the pose move tool there's a pose rotate tool which you can select either from the main toolbar or by double clicking on the pose move handle in the viewport. To toggle between pose move and pose rotate simply double click on the handle. Another way to undo a move is simply to right click as you're holding the left mouse button down and that will return you to your previous pose. Multiple objects can be selected for posing in various ways. You can box select or you can control left click to add and remove objects from your selection set. You'll notice that the second object I've selected here as part of this set is a darker red than the first. This tells us that the second object in the set is constrained to the first in such a way that their relative positions are locked as you pose. Now because as we've seen moving a single body part can affect the position of the rest of the body it's useful to be able to lock off a given body part to prevent the motion from propagating past that locked point. We can do this by right clicking and if you right click now on the pelvis you'll see that it turns grey indicating that that part of the body is locked off. You can add and remove locked body parts by control right clicking on them. So now if I select the upper right leg and start to move it, you'll see that none of the motion is propagated past the locked pelvis. You'll also notice that now only the bottom right leg is coloured orange and none of the rest of the body, showing that this is the only other part of the body from the selected part that's going to be affected by the posing. Now there are two different frames of reference available when you're posing a character, and to show you that I'm just going to return to the Pose Move tool. And If I hit the X key on the keyboard, you'll see that we can change from Global Coordinates to local coordinates. The local coordinates are relative to the object that you're moving at the time. You may find it easier to use local coordinates when posing as it does give you a little more control. So now we're about ready to pose the character so that he's sitting in the chair. So if we left click somewhere in the viewport to ensure that no body part is selected for posing and right click on the pelvis to ensure that that's unlocked. Now let's right click in the viewport and select right view from the drop down position the character, perhaps zoom in a little so that we can access him properly, and let's select the pelvis. And you can see that in the middle of the pose move tool there's a small purple square. And this square allows us to move the character in whichever plane this square is set. We can drag him back using that square to sit him in the chair. 
OK, so now let's select the upper torso. We can lock off the pelvis by right clicking. And now we'll move that upper torso back. So he's resting on the chair. And you can see that there's a bit of a twist here 